In this video, we return to the topics related to OpenGL and we're going to make a brief overview of OpenGL shading language. And this is our presentation. OpenGL provides a programmable pipeline. Our CPU program uploads vertex attribute data into graphics hardware. So this is an array of numbers for every vertex. And that may include vertex positions, colors, normal vectors, texture coordinates, and any other data collectively called vertex attribute. So vertex shading stage is where our vertex shader is invoked and it processes every vertex individually. So this uh, stage is highly parallel. So the vertex programs are executing on multiple GPUs and individual vertices are processed at the same time by multiple vertex shaders. So that's the idea of the programmable pipeline. Our next laboratory exercise, lab six, and this is our handout, has a zip file with the prototype project for us to try to build right here C262 lab 6 so I'm just going to download this and save it in my labs subfolder alright so once it gets downloaded I'll just unzip the file Extract, delete the zip file, and under shaders subfolder, we have examples of the vertex and the fragment shader, which I would like to open to use them in our presentation. Okay, so those are examples of the vertex and fragments shader. So let's go back to our presentation and these are examples of input variables in every vertex shader that gets executed which gets access to the buffer data and gets these normal vector attributes loaded through this input variable and likewise the position of our vertices. So here, as we discussed before, uh, the main task is to transform the vertex position to the corresponding place in the normalized device coordinates by applying model transformation, uh, view transformation, and perspective transformation. So this gets processed over here, and it gets set to GL position, which is a global variable in OpenGL hardware for every vertex. And this is where we get the information over to the next stage. So here we have the tessellation stage, which continues to process the information per every vertex. So this is also highly parallel. Then geometry shading stage constructs the actual geometry, which could be triangles if we're building triangles, could be also lines or individual points. Then rasterization happens and all faces of triangles generated in geometry staging individual uncolored fragments. Okay, so if this is our triangle like this, uh, then it gets rasterized by generating individual fragments which become pixel candidates. So like this, it's broken down to individual little fragments which eventually will become visible. And then each individual fragment is given a chance to be processed by the fragment shader. So the fragment uh, shading program is responsible for declaring the output variable of type vector of four components and assign a color to this vector. Here we have an example of a hard-coded color, basically a gray shade. And this is how individual fragments get their colors, right? So each fragment will get the color and eventually they become pixels on the computer screen. 